Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah if you are new here and today we're continuing the legacy challenge because this is my favorite series right now and I just really enjoy playing it. I'm feeling really mm, bleh and sad today because it's the last weekend before school starts so I'm not going to be able to film as many videos and upload as frequently for you guys which really sucks. Um, cause lately I've been doing Monday through Friday, which is really cool, really awesome, but now that school's starting, I can probably only upload two to three times a week, which really sucks, but, um, a lot of my time is gonna be going to, like, homework and going to class and things like that, so I just wanted to let you guys know. I do start school this week, and Carlos is out of town for work for an entire week, so... Ugh, I'm just really sad right now. Like, I sound like such a baby, but man, I'm really going through it right now. Anyway, I also wanted to thank you guys for 4,000 subscribers. <laughs> I still have no words of how, like, fast that number is growing and how many of you guys decide to subscribe. It means so freaking much to me, and I just want to thank you so much. I changed some things in Legacy. And on the legacy lot, uh, I spent like three hours off camera, <laughs> like giving it a makeover. I moved Ren into Max's studio and I moved Max and Zara into the big house. So yeah, I'll be showing you guys that right now. And without any further ado, let's get into this episode. Okay guys, here we are back in the house. I wanted to show you guys what I did to the lot. As you can see, some things have changed. Uh, so let's do a proper tour, shall we? <laughs> so basically I surrounded the lot with a fence. I thought it was about time we did that just to give us some privacy. Uh, this gate isn't very private though. <laughs> uh, so yeah, you just head inside and then the first thing you see is our beautiful orchard. I love it. It looks so good. So we have our plasma trees, our grow fruit trees, our plantain trees. We've got a bunch of apple trees and pear trees right now. I definitely want more trees um, in the future. I want all of the different types of trees that you can have in The Sims. I'm not even really sure what trees we have left, but I want them. I know we need coconut and... <sighs> I don't know what else. I know that there's more though. Um, so over here we just have like this little, uh, what would you even call this? A gazebo. And it's just got little seats in there. Like anyone can come over here and hang out if they want to. And then right over here we have the graveyard. It's nighttime. I probably should have made it daytime. Uh, this is the graveyard, so we have my grave right here since I was the founder. It's like the most important sim in the series, so I made her her grave very um, substantial. <laughs> Here's Carlos's grave. It's just like a really cute little uh, area that people can come hang out, chill, remember everyone who has passed. So yeah, I just left room for everyone else that's going to die in this series. <laughs> It's very sad. I didn't do anything to Legacy House because we did that in the last episode. So heading over here to the opposite side of the lot, we have Ren's little studio. And I am so proud of this house. Uh, mostly the roof because I'm like garbage at roofing, but like look at this beautiful roof. I am so proud of it. <laughs> Anyway, so right over here in the back corner, we have her vampire garden. We have her, we have a plasma tree here just because we had an odd amount of trees, so it would have looked weird over there. I wanted even rows. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we have a plasma tree. We have our wolfsbane and our six sam seed trap plants. I don't really know what any of these plants do yet. I know that the plasma tree fruits help you make plasma or something like that, which will really come in handy since Ren's trying to be a good vampire. Um, so heading into her house, we have, I completely redid it. Um, I didn't know like what to do, what style Ren would be. It was very difficult, but I tried to keep like a vampire vibe to it. So yeah, you walk in, 
This is like the living area, which I really like. I thought black and orange was kind of a cool color scheme. I put this painting in there because I just, I don't know, it gives me that vampire vibe. Picture of uh, Savannah and Carlos there, her little office area. It'll become more full when she's lived in it for a while. Uh, I changed the bar stools. The bathroom is the same. Here's just a little area where she could put some of her stuff. Um, and then I added an upstairs. So it's like a loft type of thing. So when you walk in, you can like see up there and she can like look down at the same time. Um, upstairs is really plain too. I just kind of like put a bed up there for her just so she can go up there and sleep. Um, yeah, I love this wallpaper too. I put this in a few areas. It has bats on it. <laughs> I think it's really awesome. But yeah, this is just where she's going to sleep. It's very plain. I will fill it up with more things later. I need to change that frame color. And I put the dog picture right here. Oh, oh, where'd everything go? What the, what happened? Okay, that was weird. <laughs> everything just disappeared. Um, so yeah, that is Ren's little studio. The bathroom is exactly the same. So another thing that I did was fix up this greenhouse here. So I just put everything in planters because before they were just on the ground. And I put a little, I put some like lights in here, little decorations. I made it look like an actual place where gardening happens. <laughs> so yeah, I just put some cute little decorations here and there. I love this book. Like maybe like since Ren is taking over the gardening, she's like, taking notes and studying plants and things like that. And we also have our rare plants here. We have our dragon fruits. We have our birds of paradise, our orchids, our tulips, and our death flower. Yeah, death flower. Yeah. And then I put a little, uh, what do you call this? What do you call this? Monkey bars. And then I also uh, took care of this little deck area here. So it, there's just like a really nice seating area. I love this. I love it so, so much. And I hope my Sims utilize it because it's beautiful. <laughs> um, so heading over here, there isn't really much different except for this pond. I thought this pond was really cool. So I added that and put the benches and the bonfire pit near it. Look at how pretty that is. That That's like goals. I'm obsessed. And yeah, our plants are still doing good. This is such a long house tour because it's such a huge lot. Um, I don't think I changed anything downstairs. Let's see. Yeah, everything's pretty much the same. It's so peaceful in here right now. Looks like everyone's asleep. Oh, I put a computer over here in the corner with all of Max's things. Um, here's the baby. Oh no, are you crying? Yep, you're definitely crying. Uh, this is Oliver, Zara and Max's baby. They had a boy, which is really unfortunate, but yeah. So I'm going to make them try for baby again in this episode. And I guess Nugget is always dirty because there's a glitch right now. There's a glitch that makes the dogs dirty like every other day. And that's really annoying. Um, so, oh, I made this room, Ren's old room. I made this uh, Oliver's bedroom for when he becomes a toddler. Um, I didn't change the walls or the floors or anything. Uh, it's just very, um, it's very simple, nothing too crazy. I love this wall right here. I think this is so cute. It's such a cute kid's room from this angle at least. And here are some of the paintings that Savannah did. The more childish paintings, I like to put them in the kid's room. And yeah, I haven't changed anything in the master bedroom. Sup guys. <laughs> uh, so yeah, I think those were the only changes that I made to the house. It was very fun just like sitting here and letting my imagination run wild <laughs> while building this. Oh, look, Simba's here. He's in the Potion of Youth room. 
Hi! So in the last episode, we turned Ren. Uh, she asked Lilith Della Torre, I think that's what her name is. V oh, Lilith Vator. She turned us into a vampire, or we asked her to, and we are... We are almost a vampire, looks like. There's question marks, so that means it's going to be soon. <laughs> and then Zara had Oliver over here, and yeah. I think that's all I needed to catch you guys up on, so let's get into some gameplay, shall we? So... I want them to try for baby again because we need to get a new air going. Oh no, Zara's smelly. That should be fun. <laughs> oh, so yeah, there's hopefully going to be two kids in the house, which is going to be pretty, uh, pretty, pretty, pretty crazy, but I think we are due for some fun. I don't know what these are. I have no clue. Um,. I know that there's something special, so I'm gonna get her to research them just because I don't, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Did you, did you guys try for baby? Oh, mediocre woohoo. Uh oh. Okay, let's take a pregnancy test. Go ahead and take a shower. What? Are you not pregnant? Ah, yes. Okay, great, 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 great. Yes. Good job, Zara. Okay. Fingers crossed it's a girly this time. It needs to be a girl in order for us to, in order for it to be the new heir since, um, oof, look at all these lectures. Yeah, come and lecture. Lecture about playing in puddles, lecture about drinking from puddle. Thank you. I think Max should be the one doing that, but whatever. Look at her go. Yeah, girl, research them trees. Ooh, they're so pretty. Come on, come on. What'd you learn? What'd you learn? What'd you learn? I need to know what the heck these trees are. <laughs> they're so pretty. Oh, here we go. Okay, open notebook. Grow fruit. A tree that produces grow fruit. Most often found blooming during the grow fruit challenge. What's a grow fruit challenge? <laughs> Are we just supposed to know what that is? Like, The Sims never explains anything. It's so annoying. Ren, did you claim your bed yet? I don't think you did. Claim. Come and cry it out. Hopefully that'll make you feel better. And then why don't you watch... Oh, shoot. I think the door is still locked. Uh, let's unlock for... Allow access to Ren. Okay. Okay. Come watch TV. You really need a shower too. Do you guys think that she suits her new pit her new place? I would love to live here. Oh look, Nugget. I put a dog door in case you guys were wondering how Nugget gets in. When is Ren's birthday? Zero. Oh my gosh. Okay, so it's today. So I'm just gonna sell this school project because I'm pretty sure she's already an A student. Let's go ahead and open this. Where the heck did you get a cow plant berry? I'm tempted. I'm really tempted to plant it, but at the same time, I don't want people in this family to die but at the hands of a cow plant. You know what I mean? I'm gonna put one of these pigs here. Cute. Um, let's do add frame. Let's do black. And then upstairs, there's also a frame color that needs to be changed. It's almost Oliver's birthday? What the heck? You were literally just born. <laughs> oh, we're gonna soon have a child. Oh my god. Okay, did I give Zara a job? I can't remember. Okay, yeah, she. I gave her the tech, tech guru job. What is your cooking skill at? Two. Hey, that's pretty good. Why don't you cook a cake? <gasps> what kind of cake would Ren want? A winter cake, perhaps? and we need to take care of the holiday thing so it is the third day of summer so i think that 
Hmm. Maybe it, it was like the last day of spring, I think, that me and Carlos died. So we need to, to make a... Uh, I can't talk! We need to make a holiday on the last day of spring. So, one, yeah, this is going to be it. We need to add a holiday. Let me, let me see the rules really quick, actually, just to make sure I'm doing this right. Because the legacy challenge... Whoops. The legacy challenge rules specify that you have to make a holiday for each of the heirs and the founder and this is only if you have seasons by the way so upon the death of your founder create two new holidays one must fall on the day your founder died okay this holiday may be given any name but must have only one tradition assigned to it and that is remembrance okay so remembrance and we're going to call it it should be a reflection of your... Wait, hold on. Hold on, hold on. It must have only one tradition assigned to it, Remembrance. The second holiday should be created on the day your founder began the challenge. Okay. Um, okay, let's just call this one Founder Day or Savannah Day. <laughs> let's just call it Founder Day. Decoration theme. Um, I don't think it needs a theme. Day off work, school, remembrance. Okay, cool. And then I'm pretty sure we started the challenge in spring. Okay, I just checked and it looks like I started the challenge on the first day of fall. So that's going to be this day. So this holiday uh, should be created on the day your founder began the challenge, the first day of whichever season you started in. This holiday must also contain only one tradition. You may freely pick this tradition, but it should be re a reflection of your founder, either something they like to do or a representation of their personality or a major life event that happened to them. Okay. With the death of each heir, add one tradition to either of the two family holidays, but not both. This new tradition should also reflect something related to the heir that just died. Continue this as you play through your challenge, adding a new tradition with the death of each generation's heir. Okay. Okay, uh, both holidays should qualify for days off of work and school. You may name either holiday whatever you want and may choose whatever decoration theme if you wish. Okay, so... What did I like to do? What do I like? I love decorating, so that can be a tradition. Um, I love fireworks. Gardening, maybe? That, that makes sense. I love wearing costumes. <laughs> Let's do gardening, since that was like a huge part of my life and I died in my garden. <laughs> So yeah, and then the theme can be... Hmm, no theme, no theme, no theme, no theme. This one will be called Air Day. This is the one that we are going to add all of the air traditions to. While we're in here, let's add Halloween because I love having Halloween in my game. Let's do a spooky decoration theme. And what we're gonna do is decorate. We are going to have, um, mischief spirit maybe, or party spirit. I think mischief spirit's probably better for that. We're gonna do, oh, there's spooky spirit. Ooh, trick or treat, wear costumes. Okay, that's pretty cool. All right, cool. Um, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Halloween, spooky, day off work, school. Okay, great. Uh, what else should we do? Should we add Easter to, to spring? Why not? I think that would be fun. Um, let's just call it Egg Day. We'll do spring decoration. Um, we will barbecue. We will egg hunt. We will have the flower bunny. Yeah. 
invite guests. Sure. Let's decorate too. Cool. Are there any other holidays that we should add? There's July 4th in the summer if you live in America. <sighs> Whose birthday is it? Oh, it's Ren's birthday, and then tomorrow is Oliver's birthday, and then the next day is Max's birthday. Whoa. That's a lot of birthdays. Max is going to be an adult already. <laughs> Holy cannoli! Wow. Alrighty, here we are. Let's get that cake going, Zara. Please get the cake going. Max. Okay, the baby's sleeping. How are your skills? <laughs> your charisma is almost up there. Cooking, dancing, logic, painting. Wow, you're painting level three. When did that happen? Why don't you come and um, psych self up? Zara. What the heck? What happened to this cake? All right, he's confident, so I'm gonna get him to practice his speech. Ms. Zara over here is cooking the cake, and then what's Ren doing? Renny Ren, what you doing? She's just standing there. Okay, so your gardening skills only two. That's not very good. There's something that you can be doing, isn't there? Let's get you to harvest all. I think we should probably fire the gardener for now, just so Ren can get that gardening skill up, but at the same time, I don't want my uh, plants to die. So, I don't know, I don't know. It's slippery slope, it's very slippery, because on days where Ren is like busy or whatever, they may not get watered. So that can just chill here for when Ren gets back from school. This is gonna be her last day of high school. Are you excited? Oh my gosh, she's so uncomfortable from this vampire stuff. I wonder what she should do. Cause I don't think we have any plasma. These can't be harvested yet. Oh yes they can, but she's just too uncomfortable to do it. I really wanna be friends with someone, but they don't really wanna be friends with me. Just keep being friendly, love. You're gonna have a terrible day at school today. Maybe you should just take a vacation day. I mean, you're already an A student. There's really no reason for you to go. All right, awesome. She played hooky on her last day of school. Okay, I think it's time that we age you up. So why don't we plan a social event? We never plan social events for like anything we do. So I'm gonna do that. Uh. He's still practicing his speech. You can stop for now. That cake looks so good, Zara. Who knew you were going to be a good cook? Okay, let's do a birthday party. A gold event because we need medals for this challenge. Birthday sim's going to be Ren. And we're going to invite... Let's invite April. Let's invite Riley. Alexander, Philippa, Silas, Janine, Tegan, and Rowan. Where's Santa? That's weird. Some of you guys were saying in the comments that you thought it would be funny if Alex and Ren ended up together. I think that's really cute. So that may be an option depending on how him and April go. Wow, Ren, you look great. Look at you! Happy birthday to you! She looks miserable though because this vampire stuff. Okay, so we have to tell jokes, express admiration to her, and then let's see here do a knock knock joke and do a joke about politicians. Hey, we can congratulate her. Where did that go? I've never seen that option before. Congratulate. Oh, that's awesome. Girl, this outfit. That ain't it. No. Nope. He's telling a joke about urinals. Okay. Play a game with the birthday sim. Uh, does that count as chess? Let's see. Play with... Play with Ren. See what happens if that, like, ticks it. 
Play musical instruments for one hour. We should probably buy another guitar. Look at April! Hi! How about, um... Let's give her a friendly introduction. Hey, but I wanted you to play. Why can't you play? Zara's going to work? Hey, what's going on over here? Look at them, they even match! Oh my gosh, I wanted them to be together so badly. They are perfect for each other. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we are having a party. What the heck do you mean? Ren, what can we do for you? Because you're feeling super uncomfortable. I don't know if her eating plasma fruit will do anything, but we can come over here and try to harvest some and then give it to her. Um, let's harvest those. Oop, and we need to pay the bills. Yikes. What's this? Go to work. No, no work. No. No. Yes, I'm sure. Alright, come out here and pay the bills and harvest those. Okay. Let's put them in Ren's inventory. And we'll see if that makes her feel any better. Where'd the plasma go? Come and eat the plasma fruit. Please. Please. Make that help you feel better. Oh my god, she stuck a straw in it. That is so funny. How does she feel? How does she feel? Not good still? Okay, I'm gonna send Max to work. I was too late on making him do a vacation day, so I'm just having Ren take a little nap here. It's not really helping her energy though, which is very strange. Look at everyone just sitting at the table here. Alright, why don't you come on down, make a wish. I know that these aren't really your friends. Oh, you probably should have invited your friend over. What was I thinking? Oh my gosh, and the baby. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, okay. Her friend's coming, and once he gets here, we can do the... Cake? Oh my gosh, the dog. Oh, here he is! Hi! Go ahead and invite him in. Why don't you actually come here and throw up, since you're feeling so terrible? And then, come and make a wish. Oh! Oh! It's happening! Right now! Holy crap! Wow. Okay. Okay, and this is her vampire form. She's gonna throw, blow out her candles in her vampire form? Can you not? Can you not, Ren? Oh my gosh. This is not what I had in mind. <laughs> There you go! Yay! Happy birthday, love! You are now an adult. Oh, shoot! Ooh! Good manners and responsible. What a good bean. Okay, so we're gonna have to randomize for her last trait. I'm nervous. I think this is the one that's going to be different from the parents because max has two traits from his parents and one random trait so ren has two traits from her parents already so this third one this last one should be random i'm so nervous i hope it's something good i hope it's something that like fits her you know what i mean so I was a creative foodie and I was also neat. And then Carlos was a goofball, a dog lover, and I always forgot his last one. Oh, he was also a foodie. Okay. And then her child trait was, oh, a goofball. Okay, here we go. Moment of truth, her last trait. Can I get a drum roll, please? Oh God, it hurts, it hurts. Child of the ocean. Child of the ocean, are you serious? 
That makes absolutely no sense because she's a vampire, so it's not like she can be outside. <sighs> okay, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Child, child, child of the ocean. Answer the call of the ocean. Sims with this trait will prefer water related activities and feel closer to denizens of the sea. Alrighty. <laughs> We have such bad luck with traits. Oh. Alrighty. Alrighty, Ren. Well, at least you got the good manners. At least you're responsible. Good girl. Oh, Nuggets aged up. What? Nuggets already an elder. Oh my gosh. I feel like we haven't gotten to know her at all. We do neglect her a lot, which is really sad. Aw, oh, Carla sent Ren a gift. Okay, well, everyone left, so that's cool. What are power points? <gasps> I didn't even realize you could do this. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. I've only been a vampire once in my game, and I didn't do any of this. So let's have a look. Use less vampire energy. Gain the power to lock and unlock doors. Make another sim talk to themselves. Gain the ability to fly anywhere as a bat. Learn all about another sim's traits. That's pretty cool. I think I'm gonna do that one and this bat, bat one. That's pretty awesome. Wow. Ooh, there's so many. What are the ones up here? Influenced emotion. Make nearby sims feel a certain emotion. Gain the power to teleport. Uh, social need doesn't decrease. Ren will never drink from other sims on her own when low on thirst. That's, that's a good one. Fun need does not decrease. Okay. Okay! Man, I'm so excited for you. Maybe we should do her vampire form. Ooh, I'm so excited. What kind of vampire form should she have? Should it be really, really dark? Or should it be like super girly? Like super cutesy and girly? I think that would be kind of so cool since she is a good vampire now. What is this? Link sim form with dark form. Oh, okay. So she's not going to have double. All right, let's have a, have a look. Um... I mean, those are some bold fashion choices you got going on. You've got some, like, hippie, like, mountain boots, bright blue knee-high socks, some fancy shorts, and a fancy, like, blazer top. You've got some rings on, blue and brown hair, glasses, and you got a mole for some reason. Okay. Let me try and remember, or let me see what skin details she has on, so we can like copy them to her vampire vampire form. So she has the V skin. She's got freckles. Okay, and is that it? Okay, let's just get rid of everything because. This is this just isn't you. This isn't even the correct eyes. Ooh, what are these? Oh my gosh. These are like vampire eyes. I'm not a huge fan. <laughs> no, her brows changed. Why did her brows change? What were her brows before? No, I forgot. Okay, guys, here is Ren as a vampire. <laughs> Aren't the eyes so cool? I found them just randomly and I was like, oh my gosh, that is so awesome. So since she's gonna be a good vampire, I kind of wanted to keep it in like the... <sighs> I don't even know how to explain it. Like I want her to still look creepy-ish like a vampire, but at the same time, I wanted her to look approachable at the same time. So... Yeah, this is her. I hope you like her. 
Let me show you her outfit. Uh, let me know if you guys don't like it. I kind of wanted to keep it girly, but at the same time, kind of just like really cool looking. Um, but yeah, this is Vampire Wren. I hope that you guys like her. I think she looks really cool. But let me know your guys' opinion in the comments and uh, give me some outfit suggestions as well. Okay, we are back and Max and Zara are still at work. I should probably get them to work hard, shouldn't I? <laughs> He's already working hard. Ren, can you give Nugget a bath? Because he is looking- She! Jeez, I keep calling she a he. She is looking really rough and so is this baby. So let's just take care of that. Hey, look! It's the girl who turned us. She's here. Wait a minute, it's 4 p.m. though. How is she here? So it looks like we have thirst, hygiene, fun, social, and vampire energy. Uh, protect themselves from the sun. Perform powers. Okay. Very cool. We have to really be careful about telling Ren to go outside during the day. Oh, she disappeared. Okay. Oh, better nugget. You look so much better now. Oh my goodness, you were looking bad. Alright, go take care of the baby. Ah, a new child of the night. As an elder vampire, it is my honor to welcome you to our family. Your new thirst for plasma takes some getting used to. Remember, thirst can be uncomfortable and it won't but it won't kill you. Here are some plasma packs to keep you fed. Okay, thank you. Change the diaper, Ren! Go away! Go! Ooh! While searching through the agency's database, Max uncovered a government plot to spy on top-ranking officials in other allied nations. This behavior flies in the face of the pledge Max took when joining the agency, and he finds himself conflicted about what to do next. Will Max act as a whistleblower and take the documents to the press, or keep his head down and ignore what he found? Leak! Oh no, he'll be fired? He can't be fired. No, you can't be fired. No, 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 you're already so high up. Bye, thanks for coming to my birthday party even though it was super lame. All right, let's put these plasma fruits in Ren's. Oh no, where'd the plasma fruits go? Oh, they're still in Max's inventory, I think. Which we can't access at the moment, that's just great. Oh, well, he's back actually, let's see. Let's see, yeah, let's just put these in there. Ooh, look at all these grow fruits we have. Selling those, selling the plantains, selling these. No, we should keep those flowers, actually. Okay, let's get you to eat one of these plasma fruits so that you're not hungry anymore. I love that she sticks a straw in it. That is so funny. Oh, let's see how her thirst goes up. Ooh. Okay, so she definitely needs like a few to get her thirst all the way up. Those look so good. I want one. Oh my gosh. She needs like four or five. I think she needs to learn how to make plasma packs. How do you do that? Is it brew herbal remedy? No. Now that it's nighttime, Miss Wren can come out here and sell all. She can do all the gardening now. Oh my gosh, you guys, look. Look! They're eating! That's so awesome. Every time a, blug, a bug flies by, they eat it. They're mosquitoes, too. Oh! <gasps> That is so awesome. There are so many cool things in The Sims I never knew existed. Love it. Okay, so I have just been here doing some gardening. It looks like we successfully resisted drinking deeply for one day. So that's good. What is next for her? Drink a plasma pack. Don't drink deeply for five days in a row. Okay. What is wrong with our trash can? All messed up. Bye bye. Don't drink deeply for five days. I think that's very doable. There's so many plants out here that need to be harvested. Um. Okay. So we have all of this stuff in our inventory that we need to sell. It's just been chilling here. I don't know what to do with the wolf's bane. 
We have this Birds of Paradise, which we can sell. We can sell these tulips. For some reason, we have nice tarot roots. <laughs> sell those, sell that. <gasps> it looks like we have a My Sims trophy and a fossil that we can put over here in Legacy House. So what is this one? Prehistoric rock. I'm not sure if we have that, so let's see. We don't! That is so exciting! Okay, and then this My Sims trophy is Chaz McFreely. Uh, yeah, we have him. Bummer! Okay. Okay. These are death flowers. I don't know what they do, but I'm gonna hang on to it. Because I think we might need it uh, at some point with the Grim Reaper. I don't know, maybe it, like, brings Sims back from the dead, or it, like... It, like, saves them, like, when they're dying and you're pleading to Grim, maybe it saves them or something? She's uncomfortable from low thirst. Okay, we need to figure out how to make plasma packs. Alright, um, I'm gonna look it up because I have no clue how to figure it out. Oh, okay, so you make plasma packs from fish and frogs. Okay, I thought you made it from plasma fruit for some reason, but that is so not the case. You're going outside, aren't you gonna die? You better hurry up. Hurry! Gosh, are you crazy. Okay, nope, not again. Don't you dare. No, no, no. Don't go outside. Just put the trash down. So we need to figure out what Ren is going to do during the day when she can't go outside. She has level 4 gardening, level 3 logic. Uh, I think it would be kind of cool if she was, like, really smart. So maybe we should, like, get her a chess table of her own or something else that she can, like, get her logic skill up with. Let's see if there's anything that we can get her that's not chess. Because <laughs> I don't think you can fit a chess table anywhere in here, which is kind of annoying. But I know there's like a microscope, there's like science tables and all that kind of stuff. Oh, I got the new um, mosquito mosquito stuff pack. That's why all this stuff is here. Uh, so let's see. Logic. Logic, logic, logic. Plus logic skill. What's this? What is this? Chemical analyzer? I know that's probably gigantic. Um, what is this? No. Maybe she could be a piano player. That'd be kind of fun. But again, there's no room for it anywhere. <laughs> oh, she can have the piano instead of that table. I love it when Sims can play the piano in my game. I don't know why, it just makes me really happy. I'm just gonna put that there. We can put this little thing here for now. We'll delete that, put this here. I wonder if this is the same as a uh, organ or if those are two separate, tr or two separate, um... ooh, pipe organ skill. It is two separate skills. How big is this? It's huge. Should we get it for her? Does it completely block the walkway? It doesn't block the walkway. Oh. There we go. Yeah, it blocks the walkway. <laughs> Should we make the bathroom a bit smaller? Still usable, right? It should be? No, we have to delete this counter now. And then maybe rotate this. No, we'll have to put this here. Okay, it still should work. And now she has a pipe organ to play. <laughs> That's like super vampy, I love it. Um, which pipe organ should we get? The black one's kind of heavy on the eyes. I kind of like this gray one. Can we put this on it? Oops. Like a cute little um, decoration. I like it. Okay. <laughs> so she has all these vampire elements about her, but they're all really cute and funny. Cool. Okay. 
Let's get her to practice. Let's kill some time. How's your mood? Your thirst is pretty low, so when it gets nighttime, I think we'll get her to go and look for frogs. Uh, yeah, and Max should be home from school soon. I mean, work. Oh my gosh. How are you doing in your job anyway? You should be getting a promotion. You did! Oh no, that's Zara. She got promoted to quality assurance. Good job. Proud. And you're at work until 7, so, which is almost, you're almost done. You're almost done. How's the baby doing? It's sad. Zara, come take care. It's his birthday, so he should be aging up at any minute now. Any, any minute. Uh, come and play a game. Play Party Frenzy. That's fine. Oh no. Carlos' stereo. Are you guys liking Zara as a mom? It certainly suits her, doesn't it? So cute. I'm so excited to see what the baby looks like. Like, so excited. <laughs> you guys have no idea. You guys are always saying, oh my gosh, they're gonna have such cute kids, and I completely agree. Completely. Since it's his birthday, can we just, like, age him up? I think we can. I think that is definitely not against the rules. So, let's get Zara to age him up. You're pregnant, right? Ooh, okay, okay. We need to um, randomize his trait. Okay, well, we got wild, so we're just gonna go with that. Wild. All right, let's have a look at you in Create a Sim and give you some good outfits. Since this isn't the heir, I'm not really worried about him. <laughs> I said that about Ren too, and now she's like my favorite. But yeah, you're not our main concern, but dang, you're cute. Oh my gosh, look at you. You are so adorable. All right, let's work on your skin details first and foremost. This was, yeah, this is Max's skin detail. Aww, I'm in love. So cute. What kind of hair should we give you? Since Zara is definitely African-American, maybe he can have curly hair? Or just like really wild hair, I don't know. What do you guys think? And should it be black or should it be brown? Hmm. Should he have the same hair as Max did? Oh my gosh, it looks just like Max. Oh, it looks just like Max. Holy crap. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Okay, let's give him this long hair. I really like this. And he can just have like a blackish brown hair. Okay, now let's work on your outfit. So Zara is super stylish and Max is just kind of uh, laid back. Maybe like one of these shirts? I don't know. I don't know how to dress toddlers. Like, it's kind of hard for me. Oh, this is such a cute little sweater! Aww! That is so cute! I'm just gonna put him in this little bear sweater because this is like my favorite sweater for toddlers. I love, love, love using it. Just for now, since he just ages up from being a baby, he's still pretty young. I like the socks, so we'll leave those on and then he can just have little white shoesies. I don't know if I'm liking this hair. Do you guys like it? Should we do this one instead? Aww, that's cute. I think I like that one better. <laughs> oh my god, how precious. Okay, we're doing that one. Get it, girl. <laughs> okay, so here is little baby. Aww, he's so cute. Ah, I should probably darken his skin tone just a little bit to make it a little bit more realistic. I'll definitely do that, but I'm going to leave this part right here. I think this is a good spot to leave it. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I love you so much, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!